you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 17th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10 he entered jericho and was passing through it a man was there named zacchaeus he was a chief tax collector and was rich he was trying to see who jesus was but on account of the crowd he could not because he was short in stature so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way when jesus came to the place he looked up and said to him zacchaeus hurry and come down for i must stay at your house today so he hurried down and was happy to welcome him all who saw it began to crumble and said he has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner zacchaeus stood there and said to the lord look half of my possessions lord i will give to the poor and if i have defrauded any one of anything i will pay back four times as much then jesus said to him today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of abraham for the son of man came to seek out and to save the lost this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends Today, we have one of the most delightful stories of uh, Luke, and indeed of the whole gospel. It uh, follows immediately and not by accident after the healing of the blind man, as Jesus enters the city of Jericho. The central figure is uh, Zacchaeus in today's gospel passage, who Luke tells us was a chief tax collector, and a rich man this is the only reference in scripture to the uh, chief tax tax collector it probably means he was responsible for a district or region with other tax collectors answerable to him the region at this time was prosperous so more tax collectors were needed knowing he was a chief tax collector it was hardly necessary to mention that he was wealthy the tax collectors were studiously avoided and despised by their fellow Jews they made contracts with the roman authorities to to collect taxes and made sure that uh, they got from public what today we might call generous commissions after all it was a kind of a business and they had to make a living apart from forcing people to part of their uh, hard earned money they were seen as a traitors to their own people by taking their money and giving it to the pagan roman colonists who occupied their land zacchaeus heard that jesus was in the town and he was very curious to see what jesus was like he just wanted to get a glimpse of a person of whom undoubtedly heard people talk maybe he heard even heard that jesus had a name for mixing with the people like himself zacchaeus wanted to see jesus but he did not expect but jesus would see him he must have practically fallen out of the tree from surprise when he heard jesus look in his direction and say zacchaeus hurry down i want to stay in your home today what a beautiful words and it it is a self invitation that jesus constantly extends to us it is right there in our first reading behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and open the door when i will enter his home and dine with him and he with me zacchaeus could hardly believe in his ears he rushed down and he delightedly welcomed jesus into his home immediately the people said he has gone to sinner's home as a guest 
all of the people in Jericho, Jesus picks the house of the one person in the town who was regarded as a social and religious outcast. Jesus tells Zacchaeus to him, Today, salvation has come. Wholeness and integrity has come to his home. In spite of uh, his despised profession, he is a descendant of Abraham because his behavior is totally in harmony with the requirements of the law. In fact, God goes well beyond it. For Jesus, too, no social status closes to the door to salvation. For this is what it means to be a son of Abraham, namely, to be a loving, caring person, full of compassion and a sense of justice and not just a keeper of ritualistic observances. Zacchaeus, who had originally just wanted to have an external glimpse of Jesus, how now come to see Jesus in a much deeper sense? A seeing that changed his whole life as he did that of the beggar in yesterday's gospel passage. As we read this story, we have there are a number of things we could reflect on. We too want to see Jesus in the deepest possible sense. Only then can we truly become his disciples. We need to hear him saying to us, as I want to stay in your house today. Let us open the door and welcome him in. Amen. May God bless us.